Good afternoon. Welcome to the board meeting of the Teachers Retirement System for April 20th, 2023. I'll start by calling the roll. Brian Berge. Brian Berge, representing Mayor Eric Adams. Present. Thomas Brown. Here. Good afternoon, Patricia. Good afternoon. Dr. Dr. Angela Green. Allison Hirsch. Uh, President, representing control of that matter. David Kazansky. Present. Victoria Lee. Thanks. We have a quorum. So next on the agenda is an update on TRS operations. And Kavita Amor is going to give us that update. Thank you, Patricia. Look this side. The cameras here. Speak up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Member account statements for first quarter of 2023 are now being produced. Statements will be available for online viewing in early May for in-service members, on-leave members, and retirees with deferred TDA accounts. Quarterly statements for TD, TDA beneficiary participants will be mailed in early May. April 1st marked the beginning of our summer retirement season, and TRS has already received more than 200 applications. Members can file for retirement up to 90 days before their retirement date, and July 1st is by far the most common retirement date. Most members use our retirement e-form to file for securely online, um, to file securely online, but some still use the paper retirement applications. As always, we encourage members to attend our virtual getting ready for retirement classes if they're thinking about retiring. Registration will be available soon for May and June classes, and we will continue to report on summer retirements in future meetings. Thank you. Thank you, Kavita. Next is an update from the actuary. Good afternoon. Uh, in your board packets is uh, my letter uh, with the final employer contribution for the current fiscal year, that's the 2023 fiscal year. That amount is 3.1 billion rounded. Uh, prior to the start of the fiscal year, my office uh, provided you the preliminary contribution for the fiscal year. Uh, that number also rounded was uh, 3.1 billion, but it was $11 million less. Uh, the final uh, employer contribution often does differ from the preliminary uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, data changes, improvements in the coding, or a reflection of new benefits that were adopted in the fiscal year. In this case, the $11 million increase is mostly due to the increase in benefits for the tier six vesting going from 10 years to five years. So our request is the board formally approve this final amount to replace the preliminary amount that the board approved last year. Thank you. Um, any questions? Okay. okay. Next on the agenda is the um, matter of the next meeting, which has been scheduled for Thursday, May 18th, 2023. That'll be our next board meeting. And um, next is a resolution, District Council 37 union increases for covered TRS employees. Please skip to the result. Resolve that the trustees of the Teachers Retirement Board hereby approve a modification to the fiscal year 2023 budget to increase such budget in the amount of $2,145,643 to fund the approved reoccurring increment payments and pay increases for eligible staff under the new DC 37 collective bargaining agreement. Do we hear a motion? So moved. And seconded. Second. It's been motioned and seconded. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, all those opposed say nay. Any abstentions? The resolution is passed. Next on the executive director's report is the resolution to adopt the actuary determination for the final fiscal year 2023 employer contribution to the New York City teacher's retirement system. Please skip to the result. Resolve that the employer contribution to this New York City teacher's retirement system for fiscal year 2023 
in the amount of three billion eighty six million eighty one thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars is hereby approved by the board of trustees. All right, so we hear a motion. So moved. Second. Second. It's been seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Any abstentions? The resolution is passed. Next on the agenda is the calendar and the first item on the calendar is the approval of the following minutes. March 9th, 2023, investment meeting minutes. March 16th, 2023, board meeting minutes. Great, do I hear a motion to adopt the uh, minutes? So moved. And do I hear a second? Second. It's been seconded. All those in favor of adopting the minutes, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Abstentions. Uh, the minutes have been adopted. Um, next is the matter of the calendar. You all received an electronic version of the April calendar items. Please wait the reading of the calendar. Great. Do I hear a motion to adopt the calendar items for April? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of adopting the calendar, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. And abstentions? The calendar has been approved. Adopted. Thank you. Under other business, I did just want to let the board know that um, we are going to start work on the Secure Act 2.0 that um, requires us to allow for a Roth TDA um, for um, oh, catch-up catch um, payments for the TDA program for people over $145,000. Is that the amount, I believe? It, it's required that um, catch-up contributions, if you're over that, uh, it be done through a Roth. It is a very, very, very substantial effort um, for, for the changes that we're going to be making. We only have six months to make those changes because um, we do have a request in along with other retirement systems throughout the country for an extension, but we have not heard back on that extension. So we are going to start um, the work that we need to do to be able to meet the deadline. I just want to let you know that that also is going to impact our modernization project because most of the people that have the knowledge and ability to to work on the um, Roth TDA, um, our own our modernization project, and we'll have to be taken off to work on this effort. We um, we will be including the budget needed to do this work in our 2020 fiscal year 2024 budget that will be coming to the board. Just to clarify, that's the catch up for people old, 50 or older who can put more money into the TDA. That's correct. Any other business? All right. And next on the agenda is um, questions or comments from the public. Anyone on Zoom? <laughs> yeah. Great. I think we finished business. Okay. So I'll do a motion to adjourn. So moved. And do I hear a second? Second. Here in a second, and all those in favor of adjourning, please say aye. Uh -huh. Those opposed? Any abstentions? Is Miguel? Thank you. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thanks.